one of the things that I know about what I do is whilst I'm I'm not afraid to be strident and not afraid to be certain about things equally when I deliver a training session nothing is disallowed in terms of questions people ask and things that people can say because I think that's the only way that people will actually upfront some of the awful entrenched attitudes that they have being brought up as a non-disabled person. I'm very skilled at not connecting with my body, so, so I'm not really thinking about the fact that I'm sitting here with no clothes on. Well, you look very comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> That's because I'm not thinking about it. <laughs> it feels OK. This guy asked me if I would mind him taking photographs of me for a medical textbook, and I agreed. I, I think I was 22. What happened was I... I trolled along to the John Radcliffe Hospital in Oxford and what happened was an absolute travesty of a glamour photo shoot because it was a it was a photographic studio with the screen and the umbrellas and the soft boxes and all of that stuff and the, can you turn a little bit that way for me Michelle and can you look over your shoulder it was an absolute travesty of a glamour photo shoot and it was one of the most unpleasant experiences of my life so that was definitely being objectified and looked at. So how it feels is, how it doesn't feel, is it doesn't feel like I'm being objectified. And also, it's important that I know you've both done it, and I also know that neither of you has a classically perfect body, and that makes a difference. And it probably shouldn't, but it does, if I'm being absolutely honest. As Elf pointed out to me, this is called an air wave, so I'm not afraid of making some waves. Sometimes you don't know that something smells bad, until you smell something that smells good. And sometimes there are organisations and people who just don't know how bad their entrenched views are. And what I really hope I can do is come in and cut through that and create some clean space. So for me, it's about creating clean space. And some people are going to like it and some people are not going to like it. But it's... For many people that I come into contact with, it's kind of fresh and different. And that's why I chose that. It's my ski jacket. And this is about, it's the stuff we've been talking about really. This is about, I am disabled, I can be disabled, I can still be disabled even when I choose to do active things. And I'm still entitled to the support that I need, even though at times I will choose to do things that hurt, that are costly, because the benefits outweigh the costs. Skiing down a red slope gives me so much that it's worthwhile. And for me, it's my privilege to choose that. And I guess that's partly about what we were talking about earlier, about identity and sometimes confounding identity. Because for me, if people look at me and don't see my impairment, I feel cheated too, because it's part of my experience, it's part of who I am. And so I, I want people to see it, that it's not about being a female nude, it's about being shy and sitting here.